Konnichiwa minna! So, in a recent blog post on Square Enix's website, we heard from the development team that's working on the FF7 remake. It seems that the FF7 remake is going to be a really interesting blend of old and new. So, if you're looking for an exact replica of FF7 but with just updated graphics, then you might be a little bit disappointed. <laughs> The development team had some really interesting details to reveal, such as Motomo Toriyama, co-director of Scenario and Design, said, In Final Fantasy VII Remake, we're using the newest visuals, voice acting, and character facial expressions to redesign the Final Fantasy VII universe to be more realistic. We of course also reimagine the characters who reside there, like Cloud and Tifa, more vividly, as living and breathing human beings, depicting their daily lives and feelings in a more in-depth manner. And if you've seen the new screenshots from the game that Square Enix have recently released, you'll be quite excited. And considering that they've released this one, here is Cloud playing dots. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I personally am really excited that Cloud is playing dots. Because if Cloud is playing darts in this screenshot, then it means that there will be so many more little new mini games for us to explore. And I think that these will be key in helping us build relationships with other characters in the game, as Square Enix has also previously mentioned in other reports. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it really seems as if the FF7 remake is going to be a blend of old and new, as the rest of the development team are asking fans to keep an open mind but not to worry, as the oldster will remain intact, all the things we know and love from FF7. Kazushige Nojima, who is working on story and scenario, said, In Final Fantasy VII Remake, there will be much less room for player imagination. This fact will probably change the feel of the story considerably. People who know the original might not know quite how to take it. Such is the fear that I have, but I also have conviction. It should be possible to feel a much deeper connection to Cloud as you join alongside him. Seems a little worrisome, especially if you're one of those people that are really looking forward to playing FF7 just as you remember it being. However, I felt a little bit reassured after hearing Takako Miyake, the environment director's input, as she said, the graphics team worked to the theme of how would Midgar look if it existed in real life? As such, as the environments team, we examined those portions that were once left to the player's imaginations, fell outside of the on-screen area or were between scenes, and tried to supplement them in detail. This to me sounds refreshing and not so frightening, because if I'm honest with you, I'm sure like me, you guys felt like there were so many levels of detail that were missing in Midgar and the rest of the parts of the game that your mind just couldn't make up for. I mean, we all daydreamed about what it would have been like, but I guess we'll get a more detailed depiction of how it will be like in the new FF7 remake, thanks to Takako Miyake. We also have a little bit of what I would say a mixed update on the battle system. Unfortunately, we won't be using summons as we remember them. I used to remember using Bahamu anytime I felt like to, whenever I felt like to, because you can. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't be doing that anymore. It seems as if this FF7 remake is emulating FF15 summon style, which is an automated summon system. Slightly disappointing. However, a welcome update about weapons is that we're now going to be able to maximise the abilities on each weapon, therefore kind of maxing out your weapon, and you'll be able to upgrade material slots as you go. Sounds like a win to me, FF7. And speaking of battles and weapons, it seems like we're going to be seeing some new side characters. I can't wait, I'm excited. <laughs> and that means we'll be seeing new bosses. Tetsuya Nomura, director and concept design, said, With regard to new characters, of whom I said during past interviews that there would be none, though they aren't main characters, their numbers ended up growing considerably in the process of creating a rich depiction of Midgar. When you think of Midgar's final boss, you probably think of the Motar, M-O-T-O-R. But in this game, new bosses will appear and add to the excitement of the story even more. We've already begun working on the next one as well. Brilliant. <laughs> but I'm confident that playing through this title will expand your expectations, just like the world that extends beyond Midgar. I, for one, am actually really excited about new bosses. And if you actually piece together the little details that we've received in all of this information from the development team, it seems as though the development team is hinting at 
new side plots. So for example, if you think of Midgar and you think of the slums, there'd be a lot of seedy things happening in the slums, like thieving, which we see on the train, and probably all sorts of other little crimes, which I think will leave room for fun little stories on the side, little side quests, I guess. So to me, this seems like a great new addition. I'm disappointed about the summons because if I'm honest, I'd like to use them as we were able to in the past because they look pretty stunning when they are on screen. So seeing them more often will just mean more stunning visual details. But even though we won't be getting the summons as I'd like, I have to say the new details from the development team are really thrilling. I'm excited to see this FF7 remake and part one. And I'm even more excited that we're going to be hearing from part two even sooner than we thought. <laughs> so guys, let me know what you think about this update in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Sign up!